Hi, my name is Matt Duff. I'm an application engineer here at Analog Devices, and we're continuing our series on stability. And in this video, we wanted to talk about why some op amps aren't stable at a gain of one or aren't stable in a voltage follower configuration like this. So the vast majority of op amps on the market are stable at a gain of one, and they have a uh, open loop gain graph that looks like this. And Remember, our rule is for the, the loop gain of our circuit, which is A times the feedback, cannot equal minus 1 or cannot have a phase shift of 180 degrees. And when we have a voltage follower configuration, you can see the feedback is just 1. There's no division or anything. It's just 1. And so our open loop gain of our op amp equals our loop gain of the circuit. And so we can just look at our plot of our op amp and see that when we cross the magic zero dB line, we are still we still have 20 dB per decade, so we're good. Remember, we, we want to avoid having 40 dB per decade crossing at the zero dB line. However, there are op amps on the market that have a response that looks more like this, where there's a second pole in the response, and so you have 20 dB per decade through most of the open loop gain graph and then down here you might have 40 dB per decade and you can see that if I have a beta of 1 so that my uh, closed loop gain is just this plot then as I cross through my, D my 0 dB axis I have my 40 dB per decade and I have my 180 degree phase shift and therefore I am unstable. So why is it that these parts are stable when I use them at a higher gain? Well if instead of doing a voltage follower configuration, I have say some non-inverting configuration, say we have a uh, you know, gain of 10 that we're, we've been using. So now I have a beta that's formed by this resistor divider of one tenth and so that one that beta, so we're no longer we no longer have our loop gain equal to the open loop gain of the amplifier and so that beta is going to shift this whole graph down by this 20 dB, by this one tenth and so what ends up happening is instead of having you know, this graph, you've shifted down by, say, 20 dB. And hopefully when I draw it here, it'll end up our goal. Let's pretend that we're shifting it down a little bit further. So what will end up happening is we have our pole down here below the zero, the 0 dB line before we make our shift to the 40 dB slope. So now as we go through this 0 dB, we have our nice 20 dB per decade slope. And so this circuit that in the non-inverting configuration would be stable. So that's the scoop on these, these few op amps on the market that aren't stable at a gain of one.